Hello and welcome to a paper flourish craft video. My name is Julie. I'm going to make a journal and I'm going to use the beautiful Studio 73 Clockwork Tea Party collection, a set of papers to decorate the journal. I'm placing that to the side for the moment. The base of the journal is an album cover. And on, our, on the Paper Flourish YouTube channel, there is a series of videos of album construction. Video one takes you through the process of making this. Now, I'm just going to give you the measurements, um, the box board, which is what the cover's made out of, and then it's covered with Kayser Craft slate cardstock. But the pieces that make up the cover, box board, I've got six inches by eight same front and back cover the spine is one and three quarter inches by eight inches and then i've also cut out of the box board two pieces of the box board and these are cut just a little bit smaller than the front and back cover so i've actually cut these at five and three quarters by seven and three quarter inches and then i have just followed the process that i did in that video now to make to cover the pieces of box board I cut two pieces of slate cardstock the first was 10 inches by 12 inches and the second was 10 inches by four and a half inches I overlapped them by half an inch when I joined them ended up with a big piece of cardstock measuring 16 and a half inches by 10 inches and that's what I used to cover um, the journal cover this piece, I then cut a piece of the slate cardstock. This is four inches by eight and stuck that on the inside. So I've ended up with this. There is a join in the cardstock and I'm going to pop that on the back cover. So to, to get to this point, please follow that video one in the album construction series. And then where you'll be ready to go from where I am right now. Placing this to the side for the moment. So these are the two pieces of um, box board which I cut. My plan is that I want one to go on the front cover and one to go on the back cover. And what I've done with these is I've already, front and back, I have painted and sealed with Stamperia primer and dried it. And the next step from there is I'm going to paint front and back just like this one, I've already done this one. And this is with the Stamperia Turtle Dove paint. Fantastic colour. So I'll go ahead and just paint the front and back of the second piece. Both pieces now finished and painted and dried off. This is the Studio 73 Clockwork Tea Party Collection. And I've chosen two pages out of it to use on the front and back cover. And these are the two that I've chosen. Very hard to choose because every page in that collection is stunning. I'm going to cut these papers to the same size as the box board. So the five and three quarter by seven and three quarter. I'm going to use this image on the front cover and some of this gorgeous paper on the back cover. To attach the papers to the box board, I've applied a fairly generous layer of Stamperia Mixed Media Glue. This is the piece for the front cover. And I'm just going to place that on top. Give it a dry with my heat tool. And then I'm going to seal this with two layers of Mixed Media Glue. And I'll dry between each of those um, layers. And I'm going to do the same with the piece on the back cover. So both the front and the back cover now, they're all sealed with that mixed media glue. I'll just put the back cover to the side for the moment. Now I want to add some stenciling using the Stamperia Crackle Paste Gold. And I've chosen this stencil here. This is a Stamperia stencil. It's got all these numbers, things going on. So I'm not sure if this is in stock at the shop at the moment or not. If it's not, I will try and get it back in as soon as we can. But if you've got even some words or, you know, um, a stencil with some words or numbers, anything like that is going to work. I love this gold crackle paste. There we go. I just want it up in that top corner. I'm going to go ahead and give that a good dry. I'll hold this up a little bit closer. Hopefully you can see those gorgeous fine cracks in that paste. I'll just pop that to the side now. I want to add a decoration to the front cover. 
and I've got the one of the Lavinia Grey board sets. This is Clocks 2, and I've chosen the clock from here and also the hands from down the bottom. And I'm going to seal these, paint, paint the chipboard with Stamperia Primer, and I'm going to then paint it with, oh, here's a decision. I think I'm going to go with the Earth Brown paint. So I've painted the clock hands and the clock with that lovely earth brown paint. The clock hands, I'm just going to grab some vintage gold wax and I want to make these gold. And then I'm going to pop them aside. I'm not going to put these on straight away. I'm going to rub that wax on. Vintage Patina Turquoise this is a Stamperia uh, product and this color goes beautifully with the collection I'm just going to go over the top with that um, vintage patina of the clock just paint the clock with it I have left the middle in the clock I want to be able to pop the hands on there I'm going to give that a quick dry got a baby wipe here now I want to take a fair bit of moisture out of the baby wipe I don't want it to be too wet and then all I'm going to do is just wipe some of that patina back and here it is all dried off wiped back so now I've got some of the brown showing some of that lovely vintage patina my plan is to have this somewhere around here on the front cover Actually, I'm going to stick that down now and I'm going to do that with Stamperia craft glue. The clock hands, I'm just going to pop them to the side somewhere where hopefully I won't lose them and they'll go on later on. My aim is with the front and back cover or the whole journal really to have a good grungy look to it. So at the moment it's looking very sort of pretty, um, but it's got that grungy feel, this collection. So what I'm going to do, I'll just let this craft glue dry a little bit longer on the front cover. While I do that, let's bring back the back cover. I'm going to pop it in a splatter box. Now this is Stamperia Aquacolor Leather Spray. What I'm going to do is just cover the front here, sideways swipes. Doesn't have to be a complete even coverage. And then what I'm going to do is with a paper towel, just remove as much of that as I want to. And I'm going to start to dry it and continue that and just keep going until you've got the finish that you're looking for. So this is now completely dry and if I now compare the front and back cover you can see the difference that Aquacolor leather spray has made. I'm going to do the same thing to the front cover. So here's the front and back cover all completely dry. This is the Stamperia coffee dye ink pad. I'm going to ink the edges. It's a great color, nice dark brown color. So I'm going to go around the edges not only of the front and back cover I'm also going to do the edges of the album cover as well. Now I decided the coffee ink wasn't quite dark enough, so I've still got the coffee there coming in a little bit, which looks nice. But when you need that good, dark, grungy edge to your piece, what do you call? Ranger Archival Jet Black Ink. So I've gone ahead and you can see the difference. Now with that black edge, this is this just looks complete. I have stuck the clock hands on with the Stamperia Craft Glue. I didn't end up layering them on top of each other because I'm planning on putting some kind of image in the middle there. I'll play around with that in a moment. The cover looks great. So with the, with the coffee ink pad, I haven't used the black ink. I don't think it needs it. But you can see there I've gone along the spine as well with it. And I've also gone around the inside edge. So that looks pretty cool. Let's see how this is going. So my plan is that this is going to go onto the front. It's starting to look pretty good. Before I stick them on, and I'm going to do find some fussy cut images in the uh, Clockwork Tea Party uh, collection which I can also use to decorate on the front so I'll show you though once I work that out I'll show you those but I also want to cut two pieces of the pattern paper from that collection and pop them on the inside I'll cut them just a little bit smaller um, than probably the same maybe the same size that five and three quarter times seven and three quarter and stick those on the inside I probably will ink the edges of those pieces as well with the coffee ink pad before I stick them on 
these are the two pieces that I've chosen to go on the inside cover of the journal. And they were actually both from the same paper piece that was in the collection. So five and three quarters by seven and three quarters. I've attacked them with the uh, Tim Holtz paper distresser along the edge. And then using the coffee ink pad, I'm just going around the edges. I think I've got one more to do to darken the edges. Now they look better, don't they? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm now going to, at this point, I'm going to stick the front and back cover on the journal and I'm also going to stick those pieces on the inside. I think I'll just use Stamperia Craft Glue to do that. Pretty cool product. So here's the journal cover almost finished. As I said, I'm going to choose a couple of fussy cut images which I will pop on the front and I'll explain to you how I go about preparing those to go on the front cover. But I just wanted to show you where it's at now. So there's the front cover. We open it up. I also use that coffee ink pad and the sponge just to grunge that center area up. But I think it's looking pretty cool. All right, so that's it. I'll be back shortly and show you the finished cover. And then I'll start to work on some of the pages to go on the inside. I've chosen these images and some of them were from the fussy cut sheet. Some of them were from the sheet that has a lot of tags and things that you can use in your journals and albums. And what I've done with them is with the mixed media glue, Stamperia product, I have done one coat on the back, two coats on the front, and it's given them this really nice shiny sort of finish on them and it sort of gives it a little bit extra stability as well for those images that are going to go on your front cover and um, I then inked them and colored them a little bit as well just to give them that little bit of a sort of that bring in that grungy look so it tones in with the cover and I've done that with the Stamperia coffee dye ink pad so these are ready to go on I'm going to stick them on with Stamperia craft glue this little cute mouse is going to go on the center of the clock. Little mouse in a teacup. I just thought that was rather sweet. You are invited, and it's got another cute little mouse there. I think I'm going to slip this just underneath that chipboard clock. So that mouse is sort of peeking out from there. Time for tea. It's going to go down here and then I've actually popped some mounting tape under this gorgeous lady and she's just going to pop to the side of that. So I'll pop time for tea down first. Let's make sure I leave enough room for this lovely lady. That will work there. But you'll find the most stunning images in this collection. They're just amazing. Okay, front cover done. Now the last thing I'm going to do just to complete the cover um, in this video is I'm going to wrap some twine. This is just some twine. We sell this at Paper Flourish um, on, off the roll and I said it's not online but you can always do um, order it in by phone order as well. Um, but just twine. And I'm going to wrap this. I'm going to leave a fair length of it. And I'm going to wrap this around, you can see what I'm doing all right here, the cover. I don't want to go too tight. I want to leave a little bit of give in there because this is what I'm going to end up um, using to hold the pages in. So you can see on the inside, it's wrapped around three times. And then on the outside, now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to twist this across. I saw this done on a YouTube video and I went, what a brilliant idea. And I'm going to tuck one end underneath. And then just tie it. Said I don't want it to be, I don't want it to be too loose, but at the same time, I don't want it to be too tight. So I just want it to to leave enough so that those that twine can you can get the pages underneath the twine is what I'm trying to say okay all right so that's got a little bit of give in it I'll just check it in the middle so I can still 
get those pages underneath. Okay, so I'm going to tie that. Might tie a little bow as well. That's all finished there. You can see I've tied the bow, did that the double bow there, just knotted it off and so it won't come undone. And then on the inside, I've got the three strings ready to pop pages in. So that's it for video one, where I've made the album cover. Uh, keep a watch out for video two, which is where I'm going to show you how I'm going to make some different pages to go in the middle of the journal. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Be back soon. Thank you. Bye.